Hello, uh, the Center for Political Innovation salutes the life-saving uh, work that you're doing here in St. Louis, obstructing and reversing um, gentrification and other forms of genocide. And we bear witness that Chairman O'Malley Yeshitela has been fighting this same fight since before this Russian guy was even born. And quite frankly, probably since before his parents even met. But the most dangerous thing about this prosecution, the most dangerous thing about the case is, so what if it really was Russian ideas? It's bad enough that this state is constructing a wall to keep out the people that they call foreign. But now they're even building a wall to keep out the ideas that they say are foreign. And that's not healthy. It's never healthy for society to do that. But right now, it's insane. Because if you look around you, this system we're living under is collapsing and crashing and dying while the global south is rising. China, in the past two decades, has lifted almost one billion people out of poverty. In that same amount of time, homelessness here has multiplied several times under almost every single bridge in this country on how they're living. China has a national network of trains that can go as fast as airplanes. But if our trains try to go as fast as a car, they fall off the track and they poison entire towns. During the pandemic, you know, first they said masks didn't work and then they said they worked and they asked Fauci why. He said, well, we didn't have enough masks. So we had a lie. So China didn't have enough big giant hospitals. They built them overnight. We couldn't even build flimsy little paper things fast enough. So this state is like a man lying on the floor, bleeding to death from a bullet wound to the stomach. <laughs> and with his last ounce of strength, he picks up a rifle and guards the door to make sure no paramedics or doctors come in. <laughs> They've got the nerve, the gall, to say that what this brave soldier did was suicide. They're committing mass suicide and they're trying to take us with them. So that's what this case is all about. It's not about the people have the freedom to debate whether the fake president should have orange hair or blue hair. It's about whether we will have the freedom and whether the people will have, whether we will have the freedom to speak and will the people have the opportunity to hear those vital truths and ideas that they need to survive this moment in history. So that's what's at stake in September. That's why you have to win. And that's why the people had better wake up, stand up, and do everything necessary to make sure that you win.